Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Kingdom Fish. Uh, you have all smashed that goal I had in the last videos of 25 views. I think we had, as of recording, I have like 62 views. That's amazing. And it happened overnight. Went to bed at 18 views, woke up at 52. And then in the course of like 3-4 hours, went all the way up to 62. It's crazy. So, as you know, we're going to be continuing on the great map, easy mode. And I hope you're all as excited for, as, for this as I am, because the last couple, you know, they've been alright, but this one I think will actually be pretty good. So, we did the Bibos. Yes, I know, it's Bibos, not Bibo. I'm sorry. Messed up. Norway Redfish, Cocosteus, Cuttlefish, and today we get to do the Mahi Mahi, which I have died to more times than I would wish to admit. Now, 15 coins. You guys think it's gonna be two times better than Cuttlefish? Probably. Let's go. Oh, oh man. Oh yeah, they're all done. I did not know there were going to be so many of my kind. Oh my god, this thing is so strong. This thing's already broken. Oh, the Brignathodon. Is that what it's called, Brignathodon? Let me know. I'm gonna eat these little baby bivos. Because, you know. You know, we want to be hypocrites here. You know what I'm saying? Say how much I hate these fish, then how much I love them. Because they're so broken. They're born this big. And they spawn next to a bunch of tiny fish. I think they messed up the spawns for this thing. It should be somewhere deeper, a little more dangerous. So it wouldn't be as amazing. Then again, the redfish spawns, the Norway redfish spawn in the ice, ice area. But I just came over here. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, 3.5 damage. Nice. That's just death. Like, you're just done at that point. No wonder I died of these things so easily. Oh, wait, I don't think he can. Oh, he can. He doesn't have a very big mouth. And he needs a decent amount of XP to level up. But there we go, that's our first level. I'm a little bit bigger, but I don't think it's too much. Oh, wait, turtles. Oh, this is going to be stupid here in a second. It's going to start for 17 damage. I'm level 2. Just in case you guys haven't forgotten, this is the Mahi Mahi. I, I believe in the last bits of 3 and 4. Died multiple times to this thing. Because there was always one sitting right over by the turtle spot. And it was not okay. So now you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go sit over by the turtle spot. Because I am a hypocrite. And someone who's telling me if I'm saying hypocrite wrong, I. It means like you say something's wrong and you do it yourself. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, sea turtle, there you are. I'll get you in a moment. Just let me one shot all this. Also, if my voice sounds a little funny, it's a little sore, you know. Winter allergies, you know, all that fun stuff. But, uh, you know, I'm still gonna try since you guys just seem to love feeding your fish, but the Planet Zoo is not getting a ton of love. Which is unfortunate, but... 
I can understand. Some people like faster paced games. Man, even as this thing, it's still hard to kill these stupid turtles. I'm doing like almost five damage. I'm doing a lot of damage. I guess we did already make our money back, so this thing is definitely worth it. This thing could probably take out the Megalodon. If you guys remember, I think it was on the Redfish, we attacked the Pernathodon and I got one shot. I was at level 18. Which, level 18 is pretty high level. I didn't even... Looks like we got a couple more turtles. It's like my damage is decreasing every time I attack this thing. But the mock mock is so strong. It's fast, does a lot of damage, but what is not to like about this fish? Are Mahima things real and are they actually this dangerous? I assume they're real, but I don't think they're so dangerous, probably. Probably don't eat sea turtles off often. But I could be wrong, they might be the sea turtle eaters, I don't know. I wonder, is it like part of their code that keeps the sea turtles over here? Like, what happened? Like, why won't they leave this area? And they go out a little ways over there, but they won't go like over where by the by boat spot. Mm. Question. Does anyone know the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Because what I've heard is that it's because they are Turtles can swim and tortoises can't. Am I right on that? Is that the difference? Oh! Oh no! Oh! No, no, no! That turtle did not like that. Did you guys see that? I just got thrown out of the water and like... I just got shumped. Never again. Come here. Never again. Do you guys, what creature do you think we're going to be able to kill the Megalodon on? Do you think it's going to be the very last creature? Do you think it's going to be the Dunkleosaurus? Or do you think, do you think I should go back and revisit the Bybos and like just get to level 500? So I could do it. We got to like level 50 pretty easily, so, you know, I could probably do it. I just thought the Megalodon wasn't that powerful. But I. It got kind of. It got quite a bit of ketchup on it. So. I think we could probably have killed it if we had had a little more health. Problem is, these bigger creatures, they take a lot more XP to level up. And that is quite frustrating. Hmm. Those things look nasty. I don't want to mess with them.
There we go, just ate all those fish. Just slurped them up. Backflip. Is that actually a backflip or is it a back swim? And also explain to me how I can swim backwards in this game. No. No. the Pregnathodon. Oh, no, 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 You saw that? It looked at me and it opens its mouth like, oh, dinner's here. And I'm just like, mm, no, 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 no. No, it's not okay. Something I did notice, though, the first two episodes, they're doing amazing. Best videos on my channel. But the next two, you know, they've only been out for almost a day, but the only ones have been out for only double that and they only the next one we have three and one view as of recording. So please continue to watch. It helps me it helps motivate me to continue doing this and not quit. Because if I quit, you don't ever get to see the sharks. And also, if we can reach views in total on my I need 200 views in total just out of all the views on every Feed and Grow Fish episode wait no let me think 500 views on every Feed and Grow, Feed and Grow Fish episode by the end of the easy mode on the great map so that's like 20 something episodes so 20 something episodes guys can get like five views. Oh uh, no, no. If you can get 25 views on every video for 20 episodes, you'll hit that goal and be able to do a basically a series of me just trying out to beat all the bosses on the great map. Just from Napadon and the Megalodon. So, 500 total views. Or, you guys could just get 500 views on one video and be done. I don't care how you do it, just do it. That, that, that would be so motivating if I was able to get that much support. And I think you guys will be pretty interested. I'm planning on doing the, the river map next, which is a lot harder. But it is a very interesting map. Spoiler alert if you don't want to hear about the next map that we're going to do eventually. Just, just hit the L button and just skip a couple times. Uh, basically the river map. Oh my god. No! Oh, here we go. Oh no! Well, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. The river map. Um, has currents that if you get caught in the current, it pushes you down to this waterfall that you cannot get out of. And once you're down there, there is giant fish, including the boss, Valerie Pine. Alright, we're gonna go through one more time since we did all right. No! Now let's just go straight up here. I'm just destroying these bibles. So, do you guys want the bass battle in the series? I think it'd be interesting. It'd be long videos. Oh, and also comment if... If you guys... 
I've been considering whether I'm ever gonna do these or not, but live streams. Like, do you all watch enough? Hey, some of you may not even know what a live stream is. It basically means I'm playing and recording and talking the video, and you're all watching it as it happens. Like, do you enough of you pay attention enough that anyone actually be watching? But on YouTube, their live streams, they turn into videos afterwards, so you still don't get to watch it, but you could also watch it live as well. And one day we could go on a 12-year stream, just never stop. How'd you guys feel if I went for the world record for the longest stream and just turned on my stream and just never turned it off? How would you feel about that? But I, I wasn't there, I just like, I just left you looking at the homepage just for like 12 hours. I obviously wouldn't do that because then no one would watch it, but live streams should definitely be a thing we do in the future. Maybe that'll be a thing we'll try and see if we can do after we beat uh, the next map. Maybe I'll ask for a thousand views on that one. Or I'll, I'll give you guys a chance to get live streams. If you guys can get a thousand views on the great map, on this series, until the great map is over, then sure. Why the heck not? I'll do a live stream. I'll start doing the live stream, so. But only if you guys get the thousand views in like 20 something episodes. That's a lot of views. And that'd be crazy for a guy with 13 subscribers. But hey, the world works in mysterious ways. So, you guys can do it. I'd be happy. I'd be very happy. As I'm recording this a couple days before Christmas, um, I plan to record a bunch of videos that'll be published on Christmas. Heck, you may be watching this on Christmas. I don't know. But. A lot of videos I'm planning on publishing during Christmas, so look out for that. And I'm, many of you don't know this, but uh, YouTubers don't make money until they get a certain number of subscribers. And so, just a reminder. There, if you scroll down just a little bit on the video, there's a little button that says subscribe. And if you don't, and if it says you can't because you don't have a YouTube account, just plug in your email and make a quick username. Then you can subscribe to anyone you want, you can make comments, everything. It's great, and you can support me. Because I need, yes, this is, uh, is going to be a large number. 1,000 subscribers before I can start making money. That's a lot of subscribers. So, if you guys want to help me get to that, and if I get more money, I can make the videos better, pay for more games, and play more stuff. In a way, it, just, it only helps you guys improve your experience. Eventually, enough money, better computer, better, you know, graphics, better recording software for your viewing experience. It's not going to make anything worse. So that would definitely help out. But let's get back to the game. So, I am still killing these turtles. And also, where did that, like, is it a whale or a dolphin? That thing is terrifying. And that thing got me. Oh, man. And once again, the bomb noises. I can't hear those. So just... If you're, I just do it basically because I want you guys to like be yelling at your computer saying, Run away, 
Because um, I'm a mischief maker, and that's what I do. But uh, yep, this is the mahi mahi is okay. I just wish it had a little more health than it does. Cause that thing kills me so fast. Okay, finally we got this meat. I'm so done killing turtles. So. It takes so long, and I just can't do it anymore. And I'm sure you guys are very bored. So... I'm gonna do something about it. I'm gonna go down here in a sec. I'm gonna see if I can do something a little more interesting. Oh, there's the Pugnathodon. Nope, 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 nope. Just give you guys some new scenery to look at, you know? Like, here's a starfish. Like, not big enough to, like, absorb anything yet, but I do a little bit. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Did you all see that? That's terrifying. Oh my god. Also, I might be playing some more scary games soon, and I do not handle that kind of stuff well. So, this is terrifying. Oh my god, it's swimming right above me. Stay low. You guys think I can just jet out and zoom, zoom, zoom all the way out of here? Yeah, the Don's over there. Go, 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 go. No. 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 We're gone. How do you think the Mahi Mahi was? Um, I think... Myself, it was fast, it was strong, it was what I wanted, but... I don't know. The bigger the creatures get, the, the harder it is to level them up. I just feel like if it did more damage, that same experience counter, it would be better. Because, like, those turtles would give me maybe a level. Like, at best, one level. And that just, like, wasn't enough. Just wasn't enough XP, and, like, everything else would kill me too fast. But, um, it was alright. So, next episode, for the exact same amount of money, we got the green moray. Um, uh, its health is not any better. Its damage is insane. So, I don't, I don't have high hopes for the moray eel. It's amazing, it's cool. I can't promise it. Uh, anglerfish. It'll be interesting. I think it could be good. Its damage isn't terrible. Helps a little better than more eel. So. Maybe, and obviously the black tip shark. It just doesn't have that good of a damage, too. That's not, that's not, that's like, it's like back to, like, first couple of creatures. Like, that's, that's, that's not good. That's not good. And the sailfish, it's still not great. But then the ghost shark, 10 damage, 111 health. That, this is when things, like, get really good. So that's episode, this is episode five, six, seven, haven't unlocked this yet, so eight, nine, ten. Episode ten. Obviously, once I unlock these creatures, we'll circle back and do videos on them. I just, obviously, have not gotten to that yet. But, uh, uh, it has been fun, but, uh, I guess I'll see you next time on the, uh, angle, 
wait, no, sorry, the more I yield, and, uh, goodbye.